Comic Sans is arguably the most hated and loved font of a majority of mankind. But what exactly is it about this font that inspires so much controversy? To find out, we'll have to look back all the way to the font's creation. The year is 1994. O.J. Simpson flees police. 48 members of the Order of the Solar Tradition Cult commit suicide to escape the hypocrisies and oppression of this world, and Microsoft designer Vincent Conair invents Comic Sans. Upon viewing the beta version of Microsoft Bob, which utilized Times New Roman for speech bubbles in which cartoon characters spoke to the user, Conair found this incredibly inappropriate for its application, and thus began the development of a new font, inspired by classic comic book speech bubbles such as those in the Batman series. Though the font was not ready in time for the release of Microsoft Bob, Conair was hard at work, and the new font was released in the Windows 95 Plus Pack. Within the four years following its release, Comic Sans became one of the most widely used fonts in the world. With this widespread notoriety quickly came infamy, as the font began to be used for increasingly unfitting and unseemly situations. From resumes to advice for rape victims, this overuse caused many to denounce the typeface as infantile, fatuous, and just an overall an obnoxious choice for writing endeavors. Two of the more vocal critics of Comic Sans, graphic designers David and Holly Combs, founded the Band Comic F Sans Foundation, an online campaign against the typeface. Their hostility took root when the two's employer insisted they use Comic Sans in a children's museum exhibit of their design. Outraged, the couple founded the campaign. Though initially founded as a joke between the two, it is currently the largest and only anti-font campaign in existence. Their site, bandcomicsans.com, features their promise to respect the sanctity of typography. Type is a voice. Its very qualities and characteristics communicate to readers a meaning beyond mere syntax, the site states. This could be called draconian, so much controversy inspired by a simple font. But it's not only graphic designers, writers, and other such typeface fanatics that oppose the font. Everyone, from sports fans to science enthusiasts, have been, or at least felt, personally affected by the use of Comic Sans. In 2010, Cleveland Cavaliers owner Dan Gilbert, Gilbert posted a cover letter in response to star player LeBron James' leaving the team in favor of the Miami Heat. The fans' response was indignant, and not just for Mr. James' disloyalty, but for the owner's choice of font for his public apology, which was, you guessed it, Comic Sans. Michael Lee of the Washington Post stated that the font ridiculed the nature of the evening. Two years later, in 2012, the font once again faced ridicule when scientists revealed a new particle consistent with the description of a boson particle. But in the face of this major scientific discovery, attention was drawn instead to the scientist's choice of font, which was Comic Sans. Many stated their doubts that it was appropriate to use such a juvenile font for such a historic occasion. Conair himself voiced his concerns, saying, What's with these shit slides? Where's Alice? Who Alice is, and where she is, is a question for another time. But Comic Sans, once again, is the subject of scorn, even, it seems, by its own creator. Does he condemn the font himself? No. Conair stands by his creation, saying, I think people who don't like Comic Sans don't know anything about design. They don't understand that in design, you have a brief. Comic Sans matched the brief, the brief of the entire Microsoft consumer division to put a computer in every home and to make something popular for people in these homes. So, what do you think? Does Comic Sans fit the brief? With all those that dislike the font, Comic Sans continues to be used every day, and it doesn't appear that it will cease to exist anytime soon. It remains one of the world's most loved fonts. With infamy, it retains its notoriety and Comic Sans has earned its place. Have you?